Hey guys, Andrew, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a server on Discord. Okay, so first things first, let's create a server. Just head over here and click on this add server icon. Then this window will pop up, basically asking how you'd like to make your server. Like if you want to start fresh, or if you want to use one of their templates, such as gaming, school, club, study group, friends, you get the idea. There isn't a huge difference between the templates and the create my own option, but I recommend create my own because you can just start fresh and then customize the server however you want. But with the templates, there are a bunch of extra text or voice channels. That's basically the difference between the templates and the create my own option. So I guess it's not too big of a deal, but I just prefer to start from scratch. Next, you get to name your server and set an icon slash image for it as well. This course suggests you use a square image, so equal in length and width, because that's what a square is. And Discord suggests they use an image of at least 512 by 512. So to upload our icon, we're going to have to click on the upload button, and then find the image we want for our server. So I have this little sunset image here, which is 1500 by 1500. So it is definitely big enough to be the server icon. And then I'm just going to name the server, uh, HA! Alright, so now that we've created our server, let's right click on the server icon, and select server settings so that we can further customize our server. So the first section is the overview section. Now at the top here, we can actually change the icon or name again. So that's pretty helpful. Now if we scroll down here, there are a bunch of settings like inactive channel, inactive timeout, that doesn't really matter. Next we can choose the system messages channel. So we get to choose which text channel the system messages go into. And the system messages being like the messages from the software itself. So for example, if someone joins the server, there will be a little welcome message that pops up, which you can actually disable down here. I suggest making a specific server for these kinds of messages if you do decide to enable them. So I'm just going to make a new text channel by heading over here to the text channel area and clicking the create channel button. And I'm just going to call this uh, announcements. And then at the bottom here, we have the default notification settings. This basically determines when members of the server get notified. So if you select this top option, then the members of the server who have not explicitly set their personal settings otherwise will receive a notification for every message sent in the server. But if you select the bottom option, you will only be notified when your username is mentioned in the chat. So only when someone adds you. And this is the option that I suggest. Next are emojis. Now emojis are pretty cool, because you can set basically any image you upload as an emoji. So for example, I have this Minecraft Steve picture right here, and I'm just going to upload it by pressing the upload emoji button. And then BAM! It's an emoji! After that is moderation, so you can make it so that people have to meet a certain criteria before they are allowed to send any messages on the server. So if you want to do that, there are all these options that you can choose from. And then below that is the explicit media content filter. So this is more for public servers where there's a better chance of some rowdy people getting in and saying bad words and stuff. So this makes it so that Discord deletes any messages with any explicit content, and you can select whose messages are affected by this with these two options. Under moderation is the audit log. Not much to this, basically just shows the server history. Next are integrations. Now these are actually really cool. Cool. They're basically bots that you can create to send a message in a text channel, notifying the server when you or someone else posts or uploads something on the social media platform that you choose. It's kind of hard to explain, so there's a link in the description to a great video on Discord integrations and webhooks. Server templates is where you can create your own template and create a link to it which you can share. Down here is members where you can see the server members, invites is where you can see all the active invites, and bans is where you can see all the banned users. And that about does it for the server setup and basics. But there are many other parts of Discord that I didn't cover in this video, such as bots, which I will cover in a later video. But that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like and subscribe. And other than that, I've been Andrew, semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.